guys welcome back if you're new i'm lauren and i'm amanda and today we have such a fun day planned a lot of you guys in the comments have let us know that we should get library cards and just check out books at our local library instead of buying so today we are going to go to our local library sign up to get library mm -hmm. cards and check it out see if we find anything and then tonight holly black is currently on her book tour for a book of night we've never been to any kind of book event really right like with the author there so we're really excited to see like what's gonna happen how's it gonna go down the ticket came with obviously getting into the event and you get her new book she's gonna sign it and then i think she's gonna do like a little q a the cruel prince is the book that won this month's buddy read mm -hmm. by holly black so it's so cool that around this month we'll be reading that one and we'll also have book of night so we could probably read that soon as well we are currently at our local community college which is where the public library is so we are going going to go inside and check it out. We just got back. We Here got our cards. cards. <laughs> so easy too. Yeah. I can't believe we haven't done this already. I know. They have lots of different book clubs that you can join here, which I think would be so fun. I think fun. that would be fun for us to do. Yeah. And meet more people. Meet more like, people in the book community around us. Yeah. Super fun. Overall, I thought they had so many more books than I mm -hmm. originally assumed. Mm -hmm. I guess because it's such a small library here, I didn't know what to expect, but they had some great books. So I saw Under the Whispering Door by TJ Klune. I had just read the house on the cerulean sea a few months ago and i absolutely loved it it was probably one of my favorite reads mm -hmm. so far i have really high hopes for this one i don't know too much about it so there's this man named wallace and a reaper comes to collect him at his own funeral so wallace starts to suspect that he might be dead but even in death he's not ready to abandon the life he barely lived when wallace is given one week to cross over he sets about living a lifetime in seven days that kind of reminds me of um they both die at the end oh okay just because you like, know, you know and you yeah. have some time to do what it is you would do. So sad. <laughs> but it sounds really good. So the first one I ended up finding was Storm and Fury by Jennifer L. Armentrout. If you saw our haul this week, you know that I have the third book <laughs> in this trilogy. And I realized that as I was kind of going through those, I did not have the first one. And I saw it here and I knew I had to get it. So now I can read this one and then I can eventually get to the one that I own. <laughs> so I'm super excited. Just reading the top portion right because i don't want to know too much it says enter a world of gargoyle protectors rising demons and one girl with an explosive secret <laughs> let's do it <laughs> i think it sounds so good i love fantasy i'm glad i have it and all the books they have there are in such great condition they are so i did get such a fun age by kylie reed this does have reese's book club sticker on it anytime i see that mm -hmm. i'm like down to get it i have seen this one a lot and i've been wanting to get it i don't want to like spoil it too much for myself it says what happens when you do the right thing for the wrong reason and at the very bottom it just says such a fun age explores the stickiness of transactional relationships what it means to make someone family and the complicated reality of being a grown-up. Yeah, that sounds good. Yeah. 
I think this is a perfect time in our age to read something like this. The second one I picked up was The Beautiful. I have seen this one a lot on Fantasy Book Talk, so when I saw it, I had to pick it up. I do love that this story is set in New Orleans. <gasps> yep. Cute. That's where I was born, so anything that I see that has to do with it New Orleans. It says the French Quarter. Yeah, love it. It basically looks like a romance intertwined with a thriller mystery and also fantasy. Nice. So you're hitting all the box. You're checking all the boxes with this one. And I'm just really excited to read it. I think here the checkout date is two weeks but then you can renew it online if you need to. Overall, really nice experience. I can see myself coming here a lot. Yeah, and just the environment is so nice. Mm -hmm. Like everyone's just minding their own business, you know, focusing on what they need to focus on. I could see myself like reading there. Yeah. Having a nice little coffee. Mm -hmm. It's five o'clock. Holly Black's event is at seven. So we're probably gonna grab some dinner and then head over there. there. lighting we're in a parking lot <laughs> we're in the parking lot i'm like waiting for holly black to come out <laughs> it's 8 30 it's dark so we are using one of the street lights <laughs> we just got back from the book signing i thought it was a really cool experience they had it so organized as soon as we walked in they were checking off names and gave us our signed book they are hardcover and they're so beautiful they are so pretty these are the signatures we think they're so cute we were able to customize them while we were buying tickets so there was no signing line or picture line they just had everything ready and done beforehand so the only thing you had to do was pick up the books when you got there because it actually says it sells for 28 and the, the tickets, tickets were like 35 were 35 for the in-person event plus the book so i feel like that's perfect so basically she just read chapter two of book of night to us which was amazing <laughs> and then she did a little q a and the whole event was about an hour and 15 minutes so it was like perfect mm -hmm. we still have not i mean i am like 60 pages into the cruel prints but you haven't read and it. i haven't started it yet i wasn't expecting the questions to be about anything other than this new book I don't know why there were some spoilers yeah there were definitely some spoilers that's our fault for being late to reading that series yeah they're probably like who comes here and hasn't read that book right yet? <laughs> I was basically just trying to disassociate anytime she was talking about the cruel prince mm -hmm. I just thought she was so funny which was great she was like entertaining yeah I love her style we didn't get too many clips there I think it was more about just being in the moment I'm hoping it's okay if we can just insert clips with out audio mm -hmm. just so you can kind of see her i mean it's just her on stage overall i think it was a really fun great day mm -hmm. we went to the library we got some books first book signing and technically this is another book we have we yeah we got three books today yep so hopefully we can buddy read this maybe this next does month. not count for our book buying does game. not count because we went to the sign <laughs> so that is going to be it for today's video comment down below and let us know if you are going to any of the holly black tour dates or let us know what your favorite holly black book is as always we do put out new videos every wednesday and friday so if you haven't already make sure to like and subscribe and we'll see you next time bye sorry if you can hear the car it is just so hot it's too hot the ac needs to be it on it needs to be on 101 degrees that is crazy help it's not even it's may <laughs> liquid iv stay hydrated use code loranda reads loranda reads in the description <laughs>